Welcome to our SAS diary for Son of Noor number 89. We have a jam-packed episode today. I realized we haven't had a sound update for quite some time. Since we are heading towards our early access release, I had to polish the Sonic experience and add sound to places and things in the game that were silent. For example, this huge rolling boulder. When lava is poured in the fire temple. When you move the lava pourer yourself. When this important thing moves. When you power down the assembly line and all the molds fall down in the background. When the seer throws and catches his disc, even though he's currently missing his clothes. When you cast fire on sand and you get glass shards. When you move planks and window shutters in Yan Chaza. When you take regrowing crystals and they break. Or when they regrow. And my favorite, enhancing objects with fire or wind. I also re-implemented all the game's music with our new music controller. The controller lets me define how music reacts when you explore the world or if a fight occurs. For exploration and questing, I can define multiple tracks and define how they are going to be crossfaded. I have set 4 seconds fade out for the finished track and 4 seconds fade in for the new track that is about to be played. When a battle occurs, I can define a second playlist, which currently holds one track. To make this transition from quiet to action-packed music smoother, I can define stinger sounds. They help glue exploration and battle music together. Here too, I can define how fast battle music should be crossfaded when going into battle, pretty fast as you can see, and how fast it should fade back to exploration mode. Finally, I can define cubes that trigger special boss fight music. When you enter such a cube that I can place wherever I want, this special boss music will be played. And now let's listen to how it works. Exploration music by our composer Mike. And now let's invite an enemy. Note that a huge percussive hit and battle music started immediately. After the fight, the music gently fades back to exploration. And of course this week too, we had our fair share of strange bugs and effects like falling through the ground, swimming, the Sarahu seer that... Where did he go? There. Suddenly flies away into eternal emptiness. Multiplayer sync problems. And huge people suddenly turning up. When I was shooting early access trailer footage, I came by a Sarahu circus who wanted to show me the lizard pyramid. Two Sarahuls stood on the shoulders of their colleagues, like so, and then a third colleague who climbed on top of those two. It was an amazing show. I can only highly recommend Circus Sarahuli. And speaking of the trailer, we can't wait to finally release it. Did you know there wasn't a trailer with polished footage for over a year? And because I can't wait, here's a sneak peek of the upcoming video. Stay tuned for this week's early access release. This Thursday, July 24th. And to round it off for this week, some Q&A from the forums. 
When are you going to announce the PS4 version? Well, we're a small indie team and we have to stay laser focused to finish a huge project like Son of Noor. We will first concentrate on PC, Mac and Linux. If Son of Noor is successful, we'll definitely think about porting it to other platforms. Will we be able to play as Sarahu? <laughs> cool idea, but currently no. Are you going to be as Gamescom? We're super busy with finishing Son of Noor at the moment. On the other hand, it's really a cool opportunity to meet people. The answer currently is a big maybe. And that's it for this week. Tell us what you think and join our forum at forum.sonofnor.com and make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel, like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter to stay up to date. All links are in the description below. Thanks for watching. See ya.